Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we just read from Luke that while Jesus was walking near Jericho, a blind beggar cried out to him. And this blind beggar, we don't know his name from this passage in Luke, but we know it from another passage in Mark. And his name is uh, Bartimaeus. And he, he, uh, we learned that he later, of course, became uh, one of the uh, disciples of Christ. And he cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he was warned by those in the crowd to keep quiet. And he, he kept calling out and they kept trying to shush him. And, uh, but he cried out all the more and he wouldn't stop. So it says that Jesus stood still. You know, I, that, that I guess is a little more descriptive than just he stopped. But he stood still and he commanded that Bartimaeus be brought near. And Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? That's not because he didn't know what Bartimaeus wanted, but he wanted to be able to show Bartimaeus' faith and for others to hear and, uh, so that they would know what was going on. And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. So he was a beggar and he obviously commonly asked for, for just alms, for uh, money or, or other things. Uh, but here he asked for something quite different. So he asked uh, that he would be able to see. And because he knew that Christ could do something about that. And Jesus said, receive your sight, your faith has made you well. So he received his sight, and it says he followed Christ and glorified God, and the people gave praise to God. Now remember that when Christ did a miracle, the people didn't always give praise to God. And uh, when he um, cast out the uh, demons from the swine, the people of uh, that region uh, were terrified and and displeased and asked him to leave. But here, the people gave praise to God. So the blind man recognizes and proclaims that Jesus is the Messiah. He was just told that this is Jesus of Nazareth, nothing else. But he knew that he was more than that. And he called him uh, the son of David and asking for mercy. So those two things said that this blind man recognized <coughs> Uh, even without sight, that this was indeed God, that this was the Messiah. And, and so, that's one of the first lessons for us, is that may we call out Jesus as our Lord and God. So, obviously, not just another man, but as Lord and God. And may, may we call out to him. Uh, and not just keep silent as the people had wanted uh, Bartimaeus to do, was to keep silent and not bother Jesus. Well, second, we see that the blind man expressed his faith by shouting above those objections of the crowd. So we too are called to cry out to God above the clamor of the crowd, if you will, the clamor of our sin the clamor of temptations and the clamor of perhaps those around us or that we come across or watch on TV or whatever it may be that tempts us to do other than what God would have us to do. And so we're called to cry out above those things. So there are so many lies, there are so many distractions and barriers for us to cry out to God and to pray to our Lord Jesus Christ. But Christ gives us the faith and he gives us the tools that we need in order to overcome those barriers to our coming to him and to our crying out to him. And it's up to us to do it. So if we just will use those tools and there, there are many and I don't need to go into them but from, from services to liturgy to partaking of the body and blood of Christ uh, to all that we do in terms of prayers and service. And so finally, we see that the blind man 
draws near to Jesus with humility. And he is received by Christ in his humility. His attitude is that which was also expressed by St. Paul in his writing to Timothy this morning, in 1 Timothy 15 through 17. And I won't read the whole thing, but he says that that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am first, or I am chief, or I am foremost. So all three of those translations are used. And we say that in our prayer before we receive the body and blood of Christ, that we ask um, uh, for His forgiveness and to save us who are first among sinners. In the Divine Liturgy and other services, we also remember many others who have approached Christ and have been received and forgiven. And, and each one, many of them have their own Sunday where we commemorate them. The publican, the prodigal, the harlot, the woman with the issue of blood, the thief on the cross, Zacchaeus, which we, I believe, will be commemorating and, and, uh, and reading about, I believe, next Sunday, certainly fairly soon. And for the persecutor who was converted. And of course we know that that is St. Paul himself. Although we, like all of them, are too unworthy of his blessing and of his mercy and of his salvation. But if we approach Christ with humility, then he will receive us just as he did them. So may we, like Bartimaeus, the blind man, the beggar of Jericho, acknowledge and call out to Jesus Christ as our Lord and our God. May we cry out to God, to cry out to Christ above the sin in our lives and the temptations to remain quiet and all the din that goes on around us to distract us from drawing near to Christ and for crying out to him. And may we draw near to him with humility and the attitude that I am chief among sinners. And then, like the blind man and St. Paul, we will be healed from our sin and glorify God like Bartimaeus did and like the people did. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.